Here's what's in my everyday bag as an environmental author and entrepreneur. This is my favorite everyday bag because it's great for hikes and it's also good for just like everyday errands and things like that. The first thing in my bag is actually a picture of my grandmother Janice. I got this when I was at home and I'm really inspired by a lot of the women in my life like my grandma. Also shout out to Joyce, my other grandma. I always carry around um, some sort of reusable water bottle and that's why I also like a bigger size bag or a tote because you can basically fit everything. This is actually from, um, it's a sleepy girl mocktail that I had, but I use it for pretty much anything. So it's great to have like a container or something to reduce weight. This is something that a friend of mine named Stephanie made. Gifting is kind of one of my top love languages. So whenever I like receive something, even if it's like quirky and fun, it just makes me like so happy. So I like carrying it around because it's just like such a cute little crafty project. So I always like to carry around a book or something. This is from a friend of mine and it's like, this is not a children's book, which I think is funny, but it's just like a collection of poetry and things like that. And it's from a friend of mine named Moha. This is actually a necklace that I just made. There is a community organization called USAL Project in Los Angeles and they have a lot of really fun classes and activities. And I made this beautiful necklace myself and I love it. So something that I always carry around is usually this set and also a reusable straw because you never know when you're gonna need cutlery and things like that. And if you wanna reduce plastic waste, just get stuff like this and then have it around and you won't need plastic ever again or just like not a lot. I always like to have lip gloss because my biggest pet peeve is when my lips are dry. It doesn't matter if I'm hiking or camping, like my lip gloss needs to be shiny. So this is one of my favorite lip glosses, a bar or a snack of some sort. Again, if I'm running errands or if I'm hiking, like I need to eat. So I always have little snacks in my bag and I think a bar is perfect. And yeah, my bag is not even like that heavy for real. That's why you need like a bigger bag. I know this seems like a lot of stuff. I always carry around some sort of like crystals. Do I believe they have powers? I don't know, but it comes from the earth and I think they're beautiful. So I like carrying around little crystals. This is actually a letter from one of my childhood best friends named Anissa that I've known since second grade. And I think it's just so beautiful to write people letters. And if people write me letters, I carry them around all the time. When I was little, I used to wait for the mailman to come to my house every day at 4 p.m. and I got so excited. So I love handwritten letters. It's another love language of mine. A notebook just in case I get inspiration. I got this in St. Louis at the Art Museum. Again, I love snacks. This is from my friend Kiana, who I also work with on Earth Sessions and Intersectional Environments List. And this is chocolate from New Zealand. Again, I like to stay hydrated and I love to eat snacks. So I have like little teas, kind of a healthier version of something that has like electrolytes. So I like to keep this around so I can stay hydrated and happy. I have this little like flashlight because you never know when you're gonna need a flashlight. And I'm a fan of True Detective and this is actually from the True Detective team. So thank you for sending me this flashlight. It's really fun. And then I also have a bookmark because you never know when you're going to need a bookmark. And this is from my favorite black owned bookstore called Recreations Club. That's what's in my bag.